live. Awesome. And now we're live on YouTube. And it might take a minute, but that's okay. So, we're going to go to, let's see, the clock we're going to use today is going to be uh, Facebook, and it already says we're at two and a half minutes. So, we're going to try to make this as quick and get you guys as much information as possible. So, amateurs and posers, they see their friends and family as their contacts, but once they run out, once they go through everybody, that's it. That's all they think there is. Amateurs and posers will usually go around and not even notice the people that are around them. In fact, they'll even ask the question, what people wear, I don't see anybody. If that happens, they're not taking this as a profession, in my opinion. Okay, now keep in mind, all of this is my opinion. Okay, none of this is fact, none of it is, it's just what I've learned. It's what I've observed, especially through my own experiences. Okay, so... A professional then tries to add two new contacts every day. It's a great small goal to accomplish for yourself. You might get more than that, and there's nothing that says that you have to prospect these people at all, okay? But add them to your list. What a lot of professionals might consider an active contact list, meaning the contact list is always changing, you're always adding people to it. And and that's really all there is to it. Okay, so... I'm not going to worry about this one too much. I'll do it later. So, we're, when you start to become a professional and you're gearing into being a professional in network marketing or in any business really, you see contacts everywhere. Everybody that you meet becomes a contact. Eric Worre was saying that he had, had he had done an interview with a friend of his named Charles McKay and when Mr. McKay was a kid, his dad told him that everybody you come in contact with goes on the list and he has uh, from what Eric says, and I've got no reason to doubt him, Mr. McKay has got thousands of people on his list because he never stops adding people. He meets new people every day on purpose, whether it's somebody you've never met before, or it's a friend or family member, and that's okay, but your contact list is never going to grow if you don't step outside your comfort zone and add everybody to your list that you come in contact with. Now, let me give you an example, okay? As you guys know, MacmillanPros.com is live. I've got a few clients right now, definitely could use a little more. I don't mind, in my opinion, you can't be too busy. I mean, you can within respect, but if you're always trying to add more contacts to your list, you can never be too busy in trying to find more. Uh, okay, I'm on Facebook. We'll go over here to YouTube and just make sure I'm not missing contents. Uh, sorry, I got an email. I should really turn off my, my do not disturb when I do this, but that's okay. So, and actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to bring up YouTube.com. Bear with me for just a minute. I'm just going to make sure I don't miss any comments from anybody. I'm kind of hoping that somebody was on, that was on my Let's Chat a couple weeks ago comes back on. Uh, my channel... So, I'm going to mute myself there. You guys can hear me. That's great. Making sure I don't miss any contacts. Awesome. All right. So, when you're a professional, you see everybody everywhere, okay? And it's a great thing to do. Whether you prospect these people or you just make new friends, it's great, okay? It really is. In fact, as an example, one, two three, four. These people I met this morning, and actually I've got another one saved in my phone that makes five, plus the ones up on my bulletin board is another four, so I've got nine people that I have met that now I can just talk to. You don't have to pressure people into whatever your business is, but you want to be keeping in mind 
of adding two new people every day. Every day you want to add somebody new. Let's make sure I'm not missing any comments. That's great. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Jessica, how are you? How are you, my friend? Man, it has been a long time since you and I have talked, and it's definitely been a long time since you've been on. What is going on with yourself? Hmm? I want to know. So, an amateur and a poser don't see anybody around them that they could talk to. Professionals see people everywhere, and they're always willing to just be friends. That's all there is to it. Get to know people. That's all you have to do. Think about every friendship that you've got. How did it start? One of you was brave enough to say to the other person, hi, and start building that relationship, right? That's all you have to do in network marketing as well. Jessica, let me ask you something. Um, you and I, we met at uh, Love It Christian. I think I was a junior maybe a senior when you came in as a freshman. Correct me if I'm wrong. How did you and I meet? Um, and I'll read back your answer here as soon as you type it in. Jessica has now been a friend of mine for 04, so 15 years. 05, maybe almost 20, I think is right. That's all there is to it. When you're a professional, you see people around you all the time. Okay, and a great way to do that is to just start a random conversation with somebody. So like the cards that I just showed you today, one of them is not even interested. Okay, fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Another one is just getting a business started and needs to know kind of what direction to go in. Another one is a travel agent that needs a logo. So there's some graphics design work that I've got. All this, all these things are just from me saying hi and introducing myself. That's what professionals do. Professionals find people every day and try to just add them to their active contact list. In fact, I need to go through my phone and add people to my database on my website of potential customers. Leads, in other words. Uh, let's see. Jessica says, I think I was playing pool... Uh, in the dorms and you were in there watching TV. Okay, so that's that's really all there is to it. And now Jessica and I have been friends for nearly 20 years, uh, or at least 15. Uh, so that's awesome. That's all there is to it, guys. It's not anything complicated. I really want you guys, I want to encourage y'all to get the book GoPro because a lot of what we're going to talk about is my personal opinion and my reactions to listening to this book, to reading this book over and over and over and over again, it points out a lot of great features. And he's got an entire chapter on the difference between pros, amateurs, and posers. Um, it, it's funny. He makes the point in his book that a lot of times he'll see amateurs and posers look around and they're not even aware of the people around them that they could potentially add to their list. They just think, oh, well, all I've got is a short list. Uh, there's not many people on it. I mean, they're going to succeed or I'm going to fail. He also goes on to say that some people get into network marketing thinking that if you don't have a large list of people to talk to, you're going to fail. If you have a long list of people you can talk to, you're going to succeed. That's not true. Your list never changes or is never stays the same. Let me rephrase that. Your list never stays the same. It's always changing. As long as you are interacting with people, as long as you have any kind of a social life, your list is always growing. Okay? And I love it. Even today, a, a realtor that I met with at an open house, she gave me her phone to add my contact information in there. It was great. It gave me an opportunity to give me to give her my phone number to get down um, my web address in her contacts. On top of which, I've got her now as well. Gas stations, grocery stores, church, work, local fairs uh, and festivals, and farmers markets, doctors' offices. You make connections everywhere. That is absolutely right. And Jessica even forgot to add one in here uh, of gyms. Okay, if you go to a gym, which I need to start doing, don't get me wrong, 
there's more connections. There are connections everywhere. And if you'll just listen, if you'll just pay attention, you will make those connections. Whether you have a business of your own or not, you make connections. And network marketing it is all about making connections and keeping in touch with those people. Finding a creative way to interact with those people. Uh, let's see. I'm just checking to make sure I haven't missed a single content. Con, ah, <laughs> a single comment. And so this is kind of one of those topics that I've been talk that I've been thinking about over the last couple of weeks. It's part of the reason why we didn't meet last weekend is because I was really trying to make sure that I brought you guys the best educational video I could uh, for the time being over your career in network marketing and yes this is a career and it is a profession how you handle it will determine whether or not you're good or bad at network marketing but you've got to grow those skills and finding prospects is one of those skills you've got to develop that hey Jessica let me ask you something how many people follow you do you have any idea roughly um, I'll give her a minute to answer that question and yes like always I've got a drink with me Um, I have found in my journey that the more I open up to people, the more I get out of my own comfort zone and really just talk to people, the further along I get in my career, the more that I'm willing to help others and figure out how exactly I can help them, whether it's starting a business or whatever, the, the easier I find it to just talk to random people I've never met before and make a new connection. That is what I want to encourage you guys to do. For this week, the skill I want you to develop is being more aware of the people around you and finding those connections, okay? And in fact, if you're going to follow me, this week's assignment, I've got two for you. All right, Jessica, this goes for you too. One, get the book GoPro from Eric Worre. It is a great book. I highly recommend that you get the digital, the, the book that comes with the digital version because there is more content, including the speech that I love right now, uh, in the digital book. Okay, so that's the first assignment. Get a copy of GoPro. There's a lot of amazing information in there. Second, I want you to find two new connections every day. Actively, probably a few hundred and probably 300 plus people watching and liking my stuff, but I add three to five people a week. All right, Jessica, good for you. I want you to double that. I challenge you personally, Jessica, to add two new people every day. Every day for the next week. I'm going to start a tag. Uh, let's see. What should I call it? Two new connections weekly. Yeah, hashtag two new... Uh, let's shorten this up a little bit. Hashtag two new connections. Okay? Okay. I want you to tag two new connections to everything that you do so that I can follow you. Okay, I'm going to be watching this tag now on every form of social media I can. I'm going to add this tag to every video I've got, every picture, everything. Well, at least I'm going to try. Two new connections. Hashtag two new connections. And we're going to see. We're going to see just how much you guys take into this. Okay? So let me post it here. Hashtag two new connections. Send. So there is there. Not 
letting me do it on my Instagram without freaking that thing out. So let me go here and add it to my new YouTube. Two new connections. We're going to start this trend right here. And I want to see how big you guys can grow. Jessica, I'm going to challenge you. You have it on Audible. Okay, that's great. You have a copy of it. So these are my assignments for you guys for the week. Get a copy of GoPro and make two new connections for the next week. Seven days, 14, content, 14 connections is what you should have. By the end of next week, 14 new connections. And I'm going to be following you. I'm going to watch. I'm going to start this trend. I'm going to start this hashtag. And we're going to see just how well you guys, everybody do. Now, I'm going to give the same, the same challenge to myself. Okay? I'm going to be a little harder on myself, though, and see if maybe I could double that. I'm not going to push it, though. You cannot conquer the whole world. Not all at once, anyway. So, Jessica, I hope you've got that. I, you're saying three to five a week. I want you to double it. I want you to do 14 in a week. We're going to see. All right? Post to my page. Whoever it is, McMillan Pros, Stephen McMillan, McMillanPros.com. Send me a message. Let me know. Let me know how you're doing. I want to hear from you. I'm encouraging you guys to step out of your comfort zone and go meet two new connections. You think you guys can do it? I think you can if you're willing to give it a try. Jessica, I challenge you because you and I have been in network marketing for a little while now. Both with different businesses and now I've launched my own. But, I hope that was you that just gave me a heart. Yep, you sure did. Alright, Jessica, here we go. You and me. Two new connections, 14 people. And I challenge the rest of you, anybody that's watching this, to do the exact same thing. I want to see you do it because I know that you can I've got one person watching on YouTube right now. I wish they would chime in and say, hey, so I know who that was. But I'm going to get fired up about this. this Excuse me. I'm going to get fired up about this this week. Two new connections every day for a week. 14 connections. Come on, guys. I know you can do this. This should be easy, right? If you're afraid to talk to people, the best advice I can give you on doing just that, really, truly, just walk up to somebody and say hi. I will tell you that before I got to this point, it scared me to death talking to new people. Absolutely terrified me. Now, not only am I live, I'm getting ready, I think maybe possibly to start my own podcast, not real sure. Um, I want to do different interviews with people and just kind of see what kind of encouragement we can bring to the world. There is a cause out there right now from a man that I follow on TikTok. And the cause is all about spreading love and kindness and and um he's got a very unique way of doing it and i'm i'm loving watching this guy take place this is a nationwide thing i'll give you guys more information about that later but this is what he's doing he this is his way of making new connections and there is no telling how many this guy has done to this point i haven't even seen a video from him but i know what he's doing and it's awesome so I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Now, I've actually got to get going. In about 10 minutes, we're leaving. My family's in town. My son, Logan, is being baptized in the morning, and I'm absolutely thrilled about that. So this week's Let's Chat is going to be a little short, but this is my challenge to all of you. Get the copy of GoPro, okay, and make two new connections every day for a week. I bet you can do it. I'm almost willing to bet you can do it. You guys take care. <laughs> Thank you for all the hearts. I love it. Um, you guys take care. We'll talk to you all later. I'm out. I'm going to go meet my family. We're going to go have some dinner. And I'm going to start working on my connections. Okay? Keep, keep up with me. Hashtag two new connections. We'll talk to you guys later. Y'all take care. Go out and make the most of the day.